Misha from Bangladesh, she says that there are people who claim that Al-Qaeda and the ISIS, the non-Islamic state of Israel, of, uh, Israel, of Iraq and, and Syria, they are Mujahideen. So what to do and what to talk about? They are not Mujahideen. Come on. They are terrorists. And the impact of what they had done, how they changed the whole world, how they intimidated everybody, including the Muslims. It's not focused on the non-Muslims. Even the Muslims were negatively impacted by their actions and their missions. Muslims have died. Sectarian violence has increased. They have no legitimacy. They have no Islamic flag. They have no Muslim ruler backing them up. So they are rebels, renegades, or in the Islamic terminology, they are khawarij. They kill the innocent and leave the culprits. They focus their attacks on the Muslims and accuse the Muslims of being kuffar, disbelievers. While the enemies of Islam are in safe hands, nobody is touching them. And they have nothing related to Islam. All what they have done tarnished the reputation of Islam worldwide. And this is what serves the targets and the plans and the strategy of the enemies, the true enemies of Islam. Therefore, anyone claiming that they are Mujahideen, such people are ignorant in Islam, have zero knowledge in Islam. They are people who are thinking with hate and wanting destruction, not knowing how to channel such emotions according to the Quran and the Sunnah. Because this is not the way of the Prophet ﷺ. This is not the way of the companions. So which religion are you following? Discriminately killing innocent people, blowing up places, hijacking airplanes or doing whatever terrorist attacks you want to do. Now, we have to admit that not everything attributed to them is true. But they are a terrorist or they are both terrorist organizations. But the enemies of Islam again and the intelligence agencies add a lot of spices that serves their agenda. So if there is a, an earthquake, oh, this is this terrorist organization or that. And this means that because they caused this earthquake, we should rampage their masjids and Islamic centers and ban the niqab and anyone with beard, we put them in jail and, and make a cross check on them. Ah, so it's not terror that you are fighting, it is Islam. And this is what we see in Europe clear, clearly, that is happening. But this doesn't mean that we endorse what these terrorist groups are doing. No, we condemn them. Every Muslim uh, uh, condemns them, but at the same time, we are not stupid. We know that these countries make a lot of plotting and strategizing to incriminate these people and lead them to do such things and hence tarnish the reputation of Islam. We know that these countries prohibit the spread of true Islam, true knowledge of the Quran and Sunnah, true scholars coming to teach so that they would promote violence and they would eradicate true Islam and following the Sunnah. And this is what happens even in some Muslim countries. So go back to the real scholars, go back to the Quran and the Sunnah, follow the way of the Prophet and you will be in good hands inshallah.